what's up guys it's t Bank, and this is gonna be the first video of the new year i hope you guys had a great new year's eve let's hope that 2021 will be better than 2020 in today's video i'm gonna bring back a classic we're gonna play with the most powerful guns in different battlefield games i haven't done one of these videos in over three months i believe so i'm pretty excited to dive back in and you know get a little bit familiar again with battlefield because this year battlefield 6 is gonna release hopefully and for this video the most powerful guns we are choosing in different classes and different weapon categories basically we're gonna start off in battlefield 5 and we're choosing the assault class to start off with and the carbine 1938m is pretty much the most powerful gun i think along with the johnson and the gewehr 43 but i have never tried this gun before this actually looks pretty cool look at that we're crossing the open field these two guys got absolutely destroyed there's a guy right there Okay, so it's a... Oh, but that was a headshot, so maybe it's not that we should kill. You see, this is rank 1 of this weapon. I don't even think this is a very good weapon, because the Gewehr 43 is way better, I believe, and it has the same damage, but I'm not entirely sure. This guy literally presented himself to me. I'm so used to Warzone, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It feels a little bit off, everything. But I do prefer the controls of Battlefield to Call of Duty. Because I feel like in Battlefield, you can, you, you can customize it more to your liking. There's a guy. Okay, so it's a three-shot kill, at least from this range, that's good to know. This thing reloads so slow as well, so it's definitely not a very competitive weapon. We did capture the sector though, that's good. Hey, not so fast, buddy. I see some people over there. Ooh, I got him from far range, okay, the carbine does have fast bullet velocity, I like that. Okay, final sector, that's pretty fast. We went through Battlefield 5 really quick, because after this we're gonna go to Battlefield 1. Not sure which one to choose in Battlefield 1 yet, we're gonna see. For these types of videos, I usually want to play with guns that I normally don't use, or that I haven't tried yet in this series, you know what I mean? So, prepare for some unorthodox weaponry. I'm gonna cut to the left here, have some visual cover here, that's good. Maybe I can pick some people off. Who are you shooting at? Maybe I can get him with the bazooka, you never know. I did hit him. Maybe again. I did hit him again. You know what? I'm gonna try it, why not? There we go, that's what I like to see. There's a tank over there. I think it's a tiger. There's a guy over there. Maybe we can get him. Oh, that's a tiger. Why isn't it not shooting? 10 damage? That's it? A full direct on hit, and I don't see him anymore because of the smoke, which is probably the whole point. There he is. Whoa, okay. Another one? Come on! Shoot! We did kill the tank though, so that's good. If only we could get up this little roof here. We would have such a good vantage point. Oh, there's another one. Okay, yeah, I don't have enough. Oh, I think we got it. Did we capture the... Yeah, we got it. Major victory. Nice one. Let's go to Battlefield 1. Okay, next up we are in Battlefield 1. And I chose to go with the M1917 Patrol Carbine in the Assault category. I think when it comes to damage per bullet, not counting the shotguns and stuff like that, this is the second highest. I think the RC SNG is the number one you know, when it comes to damage per bullet, but we already played with the RSC SMG in a previous video, so I want to go with a different one, and I don't know, I chose this one because this is a nice little spam fire weapon, and oh, look at that. Damn, well, I stole his kill, but I'm gonna pretend that it was a one-shot kill, okay? Anyway, yeah, this is a spam fire weapon, I never play with this gun, let's try to have some fun. What the hell, <laughs> what are you doing, bro? <laughs> look at this! Talking about next level camping, Warzone is nothing compared to this. This is, this is just amazing. Speaking about Warzone, I have some awesome videos in the works, guys. I know some of you don't really like the Warzone content or, well, you prefer Battlefield, let's put it like that. But in my opinion, when Warzone plays the way I want to, which is like once every 500 matches, it's actually so much fun and I have so many great ideas. Just stay tuned, okay? Let's see, where is everybody? Okay, there was one guy. Where the hell? This is mad annoying. There is he. Where the... They are playing hide and seek. Are we playing Battlefield or hide and seek? What is this? There's another guy right there. I love spam fire weapons like this. From close range, this is the best you can do because... Look at that guy. 
That's interesting. Another one-shot kill. You know, it shouldn't be this powerful. Obviously, I know they're already damaged, but it's it's fun to pretend. Let's capture this objective and then move up. Wait, there's a guy right there. Again, again, a one-shot kill. I don't know what it is with this weapon. Maybe it has some hidden feature that, you know, whenever you shoot somebody, they're already at 10 health and that's it. I'm not complaining, though. So far, so good. Okay, we are completely dominating the enemy team. That's the only spawn at this point. You see, that's how much damage it's supposed to do. Wait, I got spawned to the other team. The auto balance literally placed me. Look at that, the teams are imbalanced. I got placed on the on the losing team now. Okay, let's make the best of it. Okay, now I'm on the losing team. Let's see if we can capture this objective first before we do anything. This weapon is so weak. Why did I say that it was one of the highest damage? I'll go with the revolver. Look how much you have to spam this weapon. I'm lucky that it has many bullets in the mag. Because now I can do that. I don't see him, I just see his little Dorito. I got a witty rocket gun, that's nice. Still, I killed like six people and we're still losing this objective. Oh, my spam, my trigger finger is not... Look at that! Okay, we got him. <laughs> oh, my trigger finger, I got cramped up. And if you don't believe me that this has the highest damage per bullet, I just look at the in-game stats, which is obviously a little bit inaccurate, but just go with it. It doesn't really matter what weapons we choose. Okay, we got him, we got him. We got him though. There we go again. Well, there she goes. That's still a sight to behold in my opinion. Look at that. That's really cool. Well, pretty much game over. So we might as well get some couple of kills if we can. Somehow we are still going toe to toe with automatic weapons. Like that. I think he tried to ban it charge me. There's another guy right there. Come on. Oh, I can make this up. 93 damage. Well, that's all she wrote for Battlefield 1. Uh, yeah, we didn't do too great. Well, individually we did decent. So, yeah, we lost. But it was a fun game with a trash weapon. Next game. Okay, next up we have Battlefield 4. And I don't know why this guy isn't moving. Just keep going. We have objectives to take. Come on. Yeah, just keep driving. We have the Ace 52 CQB, I think this is what it's called, and it's the highest damage per bullet gun in the carbine category. What is wrong with this guy? Just keep... Bro, why is nope. it... Okay, bye. I'm gonna take it, I guess. You take too long. You're gonna go straight for the objective, because you never know. Arming, arming. Everything goes to plan. Let's see if we can defend this objective. Nobody's here. Nobody's gonna disarm the objective. Except for that guy. And that guy, but I got it. Killed two people and got the objective. Okay, yeah, that's bad. Got another one. That tank is gonna be a problem. I don't really have any anti-tank stuff. Don't know why he didn't die initially. Got another one. Okay, we are defending. We are defending. Pretty sure we got it as well. I'm gonna get this guy. Oh, and I died because there was some guy there. The guy somewhere there. There we go. Ooh, did you see those guys? Let's put another smoke grenade down. There we go. Okay, it would be dope if we can finish off Battlefield 4 with a win in Rush. Oh, that sucks for you. You literally just jumped right in front of me. These are the last two objectives. We still got 66 tickets. I think we can do this. Okay, let's get on top of this place. There we go. Get out of here. We got that objective. That objective is also armed. I think we won this. There we go. We got it. That was Battlefield 4. That was fun. I haven't played Battlefield 4 in a long time. Let's go to Battlefield Hardline and finish the video. Okay, last but not least, we are playing Battlefield Hardline. It's weird to say that in 2021 that I'm still playing Battlefield Hardline. And we're playing with the most powerful weapon in the Enforcer class, which is this one, the SA-52. 
58 OSW or something like that? It has a weird name, and I think it's basically like a slow firing heavy hitter. And as you can see, it does kill fairly quick. Not bad. Let's continue. Let's let's try it out. We got another one. This thing does kill fairly quickly, but then again, it's better for the hardline. Every weapon can kill extremely fast in this game. Let's see if we can get this guy. Nope. Okay, nope, we can get him. My aim is too awful. What? You really tried? Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna come for you, bro. Can we get him in mid-air? We did. We actually got him in mid-air. I like that. And we got him as well. Is that a... This thing kills extremely fast. Wow. Wow. This thing is insane. Look at that. It kills... The recoil is pretty hefty, but nothing you can't control, to be honest. Look at that, by the way. You gotta represent the teabag brand, right? Hell yeah. Okay, I think I might end it soon, because... Uh, Battlefield Hardline is really not my cup of tea. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm gonna trigger a lot of people by saying that. I don't actually know a lot, a couple at least, a couple, but I don't, I don't know, I, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling better with Hardline, I'm sorry guys. It's just, I don't know, the map design is not that great, and the time to kill is ridiculously fast, audio is strange. It's weird, let me put it like that, it's weird. Got one. Okay, that's why they keep respawning here, because of the spawn beacon over there. Okay, one more kill and I'm gonna end the video. I see a target over there. Let's see if we can get him. Okay, that's my that's my guy. Well, apparently not. The recall decided, nope, you're not getting that kill. So I'm not getting that kill. Maybe somebody else. Maybe that guy. Okay, yeah, that was the final kill. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not gonna drag it on. That's the final kill. I hope you guys... And now I'm gonna end it anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Discord. I hope you guys have an amazing 2021. Let's hope this year is amazing. And I see you guys next time.